So I'm now just seeing some really important organisations in the crowd. So National AIDS Trust have just, pa just passed by and we've also got Positive East behind me. Now, this is so, so important to me because I actually just presented a documentary on BBC3 and BBC iPlayer called HIV, PrEP and Me. And basically it's all about HIV, all about PrEP. Do you know what PrEP is? Preventative. Yes, so PrEP is a preventative drug that you take either every day or event day and essentially it gives you protection from HIV. So this is something that I've been taking for about five years and it's a really amazing drug and the documentary that I did with BBC iPlayer is all about basically raising awareness for this drug because so many people don't know that they can take it, you know, and um, it's not just for gay and bi men, it's for anyone. And it's just something really sort of groundbreaking in sexual health that, um, that more people need to know about. Because also I, I am a volunteer for a medical research trial for a HIV vaccine. So basically I've been given this trial vaccine, only five people were given it. And it's been injected in my arm three times over the course of a year. And if it works, that will basically become a vaccine that we can give to people to protect them from ever getting HIV in, in their life. So it's a really amazing thing, but we don't know if it's going to work. We hope it does work. But um, it was a very sort of exciting thing to be a part of, to be a part of a, of a HIV vaccine trial. Um, because basically HIV is something that's very close to my heart. I have friends who are HIV positive. I have lost friends to HIV. And um, yeah, it's, it's something that means a lot to me. Well, props to you for being a part of something like that. That's really, really amazing. I have a personal friend as well that's, um, that lives with it. I got educated about it through their experiences and that there are so many still like misconceptions about what it is, how you can get it and stuff. And I think it's just like, education is key about uh, really, really important with these things. And yeah, I just hope that people understand that it is something that you can live with and it's undetectable and you can just live a healthy life with it nowadays. I think that's the most amazing thing to take it from less, maybe 20 years ago even it was a death sentence let's face it and now it is as you say you can just live with it you can live a, a normal life a normal lifespan with it that over such a comparatively short amount of time is absolutely incredible is it? and I feel like not a lot of people actually know the progress that has been made on HIV um, very few people in fact and it's monumental it's absolutely and again props to you for being part of it oh, it's incredible thanks guys <laughs> no you're but you're right though and you said the word undetectable and undetectable equals equals untransmissible yeah, yeah. you equals you and you're right like if you're taking your meds you'll live a completely normal happy life and you can't pass on the virus but there is still so much stigma out there around HIV and that's something that I, as someone who's not living with HIV, I really want to battle because I hate the fact that there's so much stigma out there and in fact actually Terence Higgins Trust just passed by earlier and they were waving to me so much because I work with Terence Higgins Trust all the time, they're so amazing and actually two people who were in the crowd, David and Peter, they were in my documentary HIV Prepping Me as a mixed status couple. So one's HIV positive, the other's negative. And again, they just have a they just show an example of a completely normal, yep. happy situation where yes, one may be living with HIV, but it hasn't impacted how they live their life. Obviously Peter still faces stigma, which is such a shame. But it's just something that we were working on getting away from, you know. And hopefully with us talking about it and everyone out there talking about it and these amazing organisations and charities, we'll get to a place where HIV is no longer a thing that we have to have to worry about. And Terence Higgins just one of their biggest sort of missions is ending new transmissions of HIV by 2030 through things like testing, PrEP, basically all of our tools. But we need the government to support us hit that goal of no new, new transmissions by 2030. But that is a realistic goal, it could happen. Yeah. 
What do you, how, how wild would it be if there was a world where there was no new cases of HIV? That would be crazy after yeah, what you said after 20, yeah, yeah, after 20 it's years. It's a short of, space of time as well. I think obviously, speaking of government, it's looking likely we may change government soon. So it's, it's a great opportunity for a new government to potentially come in and take that up as, as an opportunity uh, to make that happen as well. But as you say, yeah, to go from death sentence to uh, it being effectively eradicated in such a short space time, what, what an achievement that would be for so many people. Absolutely, millions of people. Incredible. Yeah. I definitely think it's doable. I think it's like, like I said, like the short. Like if you really do think about it, it's quite short in yeah, yeah. comparison. Comparatively, yeah, yeah. In comparison to something like cancer, which is like yeah. near and dear to yeah. like everyone's heart, yeah. as well as other deadly terminal diseases. Um, I think it's just like revolutionary, rev revolutionary what science can do, as well as like having the, like the support of the NHS. Like I know for myself, which is kind of off off key um, where I'm getting supported by the NHS to get my hormone replacement therapy so I think I'm so happy and privileged to be in the UK basically and to have that support system as opposed to somewhere like America or just somewhere else where that is not a thing but I'm just happy that you're a part of the breaking boundaries basically. Oh, Hans thank you so much for the support. I love you guys.